Specifically on the TWI knowledge certificate, I know you, you've um, uh, had a look at that, reviewed it, and then you bought several licenses. Mm -hmm. But what we're really interested in is how have you used it and what value have you seen from that knowledge certificate? So when we did those trainings, I think we had five or six classes. And um, because we had been doing kata for four or five years at that point, um, we talked a lot about PDCA. People were understanding the kata pattern. They could recognize it or they had been working in it or they were starting to imprint the, the, the PDCA pattern in that way. And other people who maybe hadn't had a direct connection to kata were using PDCA charts all the time. Yep. So we had a lot of confusion about what this was and was this a new program that we were doing and how did it all fit in. And, and kata or JR? JR. Yeah, JR. Right. So by the time we got to the last class, uh, we had seen the knowledge certificate. So we used the knowledge certificate before we uh -huh. gave the 10-hour class instruction. Okay. So people had the first, um, the, the TWI general overview. Yep, from Patrick. Mm -hmm. yep. And then they had the uh, JR um, knowledge certificate module yeah, that yeah. Lisa McNichol and, and Dave, Dave and Liz did together. Yeah, yes. And so um, they had both of those, okay, and good. there was less confusion in the class, interestingly good. enough. We had several of those people who then went on to complete the entire certificate and came back with really positive reviews Excellent. in terms of, oh, okay, I see how this connects to that. And, good. and especially with the problem solving unit had said, oh, I didn't realize that this was a Toyota thing. I didn't uh -huh. realize, you know, I, they didn't realize really the history and the connection. So it gave okay. them that foundational knowledge base yes. that so, then allowed them to concentrate, I think. Yeah, so perhaps the foundational knowledge uh, made more sense to them, therefore they were in a better position to practice the skill. Exactly. Because that's what we're thinking. It's sort of part of that continuum. Mm -hmm. But before we start a skill, we need some knowledge which will strengthen the application of the skill. Right. And so of... from that last class, really when people came in and we'd ask, you know, what questions do you have about what we're doing, there was there's just very little uh, uh, compared to the previous classes. Where, What's all this about? Right, exactly. And yeah. how you know, are we supposed to use Cotter? Are we supposed to use PDCA? Are we yeah, supposed good. to use this? And so I think they had just that. And they had thought about it a little while good. before the class started. So they had a lot better ah, preparation. Okay. So when you look through the uh, <coughs> instruction, the, the uh, job instruction method, it says prepare the worker. I think yeah, it right. did just that. I think it prepared people coming in for job instruction in a in a really good way yeah, and yeah, yeah. since they had to think about and answer questions yeah, there had right. to be a little bit of that knowledge that That's was embedded at that point. So we could say that it was a good way to tell people in advance about a change that was coming their way. That would be another one, yes. Yeah. So there, that gets us back into being able to practice that foundation. I hadn't thought about that, but that's a great way to do it. Thanks, Andrea. I really appreciate this discussion. Sure thing. And thank you for coming to the summit. Thank you.